All right, so this is kind of a response to several videos that I've been watching where people are saying, oh, the youth, you know, they get out there and they don't vote. That is a mainstream media lie that they've fed to you. The, the youth get out there and the wave signs and be on the side of the streets chanting Ron Paul in droves. They show up when he speaks, but then they don't go vote. You believe that? Okay, I don't. I simply don't. Um, in South Carolina, that was vote fraud. In Iowa, it was vote fraud. I got links to a guy that's basically saying, wait a minute, everybody I know voted for Ron Paul, and yet he came in third. All right, so let's, an easy way to verify this. It's a small town, small town state, right? And like I said, that's not a derogatory term. You're a small town state. You people know each other. Run a few ads, get together, get the printout, and I bet you they give you a hard time about getting the printout, but you want to know the printout for your precinct, how many people voted for who and who and who, right? And then just get Ron Paul supporters to come out and verify Right? If Ron Paul only got 20% of the vote in a precinct that has 300 people in it, that means 60 people, thereabouts, voted for Ron Paul. If 150 people or 250 people say they voted for Ron Paul and it only shows 60, oh, we got a problem then, don't we? Right? And see, the thing with Ron Paul supporters is they will say that they voted for Ron Paul. Right? <laughs> it's as simple as that. They're not ashamed. They're not going to, you know, they don't need a secret ballot. They're proud to say that they voted for Ron Paul. Okay. So it should be very easy to authenticate and verify. Now, again, I see comments on lots of different YouTube videos that I've gone around and watched, and I see vi comments in various states and so forth, like, oh, the fix is in, oh, we can't win. No, we can absolutely win, right? No time for giving up. Time for working ten times harder is what it is. And the other thing is, yes, the answer is yes, you've got to go check every precinct. You need to watch every precinct. If you went down and voted for Ron Paul, then take it upon yourself to hang out and one, see if you can become a delegate, and two, if you uh, just verify and authenticate the vote, right? Just stay there and watch that it, all the votes got counted, all everything got, you know, called. Do some polling, talk to people, say, hey, you know, uh, we think there might be some vote fraud going on, and I guarantee you that other people you talk to will understand that, yeah, there's probably some vote fraud going on. We need to get in touch with you later. Can we get your name and, you know, an email address or a phone number and so forth so we can verify later that you voted for Ron Paul, right? Because we're going to get the printout and we're going to check this out. You know, and then don't tamper, don't be in the way, because they're going to be like, oh, you know, you can't be here. Yes, you can be there. The law protects you and says that you have the right to know that your vote was counted. And just stand off to the side. Don't be in the way. Don't be pushy. Don't be, you know, a troublemaker. And just authenticate and verify. Take pictures. You got a camera phone, right? And just take pictures that this is how many from that precinct. This is how many from this precinct, etc. You got to do it in advance. And yes, who was that? I think it was Chicago people. was like, well, do we have to watch every precinct? Yes, every precinct. I'm telling you, ahead of time. Right? To the people in South Carolina, you know, don't shake your heads and wring your hands. Or, oh, we can't win. Absolutely, you can win. You got to go back and verify. Right? I mean, some precincts is basically a couple of churches, and, and that's pretty much everybody. Right? This is, like I said, small town America. We love it. Right? Okay. So... You guys know each other? Put a flyer up at church. Hey, all you guys that voted for Ron Paul, we need to know in this precinct, right? Because let's say the congregation is basically the precinct, <laughs> right? Um, so you know. You'll be able to do it, right? Like I said, put up a few flyers, put up a, put an ad, and you're good. Simple as that. And then authenticate and verify, right? Because the other thing is see if you can find, you know, and again, in a precinct of uh, 300, 40% of that, well, that would be 120 votes for uh, Newt if he got 40% of the vote, right? Pretty simple. Uh, what if you can't find 140 people that say they voted for Newt? Because I'm pretty confident that in a big patriot, I mean, a state that's Tea Party and people that understand the Constitution and, anyway, a state like South Carolina, really you want a globalist, you know, chicken hog, warmonger, well, we can use all kinds of names to, to describe this guy, but that's the guy that they voted for? I sincerely doubt it. Even, I mean, even the old people. People are trying to make it like, well, you know, they, the old people outnumber the young people, and the old people, they like Newt. I don't think the old people like Newt. The old people, you know, have, a lot of them have been to war, right, from the great generation, and they know what kind of hell that is, and they don't want to see another one of the Rand. And the only guy talking about, you know, not going to war with the Rand, that would be Ron Paul. Uh, the old people, they also understand that their dollar used to buy more and it's not, it's not keeping up. Inflation is eating their pensions and retirement and Social Security alive. They're, it's eating them up. 
and they understand more than you know. Right? It was my grandma that turned me on to silver. It was my grandma that told me about, I mean, anyway. They, they Don't kid yourselves. These people under, know what it's like. They understand, right? So the fact that these guys are supposedly, you know, Republican and they like, Ron, they like uh, Newt and Romney, nonsense. I don't, I don't believe it for a second. So get out there. That's a mainstream media, you know, good story. That the the that's you know the old folks are the ones that get out and vote and the young folks don't get out and vote nonsense the young vote folks are getting out in droves they understand the political process this is why they're so fervent for Ron Paul so get out there and authenticate and verify all right now uh, just plain words again so Rand Paul and I, then I see this in USA Today it's, it's great I mean first off it's propaganda for the government that's what USA Today is second off. They have trolls and shills for the government making comments like they're regular people saying that, oh, I wouldn't want to get on a plane with Rand Paul if he, uh, you know, didn't make it through security. Ha! <laughs> really? You sheep? Rand, I mean, as a U.S. Senator Rand Paul, you're afraid that he's going to hijack the plane, right? How chicken shit has this nation become? I doubt that there's real humans that would actually say that, right? Even the most scared and timid grandma wouldn't say that. They know that the theater going on in the airports is just that. That, you know, they're pretending that they're protecting us in the airports, and they make up a lot of stories so that they can get more equipment and more funding for this agency. And Ron Paul wanting to get rid of this agency is a wildly popular position on both sides of the aisle. Okay, and then they don't know what the word detained means. Detained. They don't know what it means. They're, these are journalists, communications majors, you know, English majors. They don't know what detained means. Did he get on the plane? No, he was detained. Did he miss the plane? He was detained because he was not allowed on the plane. That means he was detained. He was taken on the side. He was interrogated. He had people asking him questions. He was detained. They did not let him through. He was detained. It's English. Right? Now, isolationist. Hmm. It is great. That story, I mean, this, the, it, it, can't hardly talk. He talks about Cuba, Ron Paul, and how our archaic, silly policy toward Cuba is ridiculous, and we need to start talking to Cuba and trading with them, and, you know. So who's the isolationist? The guy that wants to trade with Cuba? Who's the isolationist? The guy that wants to trade with Iran? Right? Wait a minute. So the guys that want to bomb Iran and want to keep some the ridiculous embargo and Americans can't go to Cuba, uh, those are the non-isolationists apparently. Then using the you know opposite and some logic, which so it's ridiculous. Do you see how ridiculous it is? Do you see how common sense does not prevail? Do you see how it's future speak, right? I mean, just look. I got the links down there where you know he talks about Cuba. He talks about Iran. And somehow he's the isolationist. All their BS labels and story and theater is falling down. More and more people are seeing this. It's like, wait a minute, if he was an isolationist, he wouldn't want to you know, let people go to Cuba. And put, hey, wait a minute, if he was an isolationist, he wouldn't want to trade with all these... Oh, hey, wait a minute, if he was weak on defense, he wouldn't want to bring all these troops home and not like kick them out of the military. He wants to bring them home and actually open up bases, which would give us more security inside the United States because our military would be here at home and maybe we could put some of these guys on the border and secure our own borders instead of the borders of Pakistan and all these far-flung places in Korea and all these other places. Wait a minute. Hey, wait a minute. He doesn't want to kick everybody out on the street. He wants to figure out how to pay for all this by cutting, you know, a trillion dollars here and, you know, keeping Social Security and all these other programs, welfare and so forth. He's the guy trying to figure out how to pay for it. Wait a minute. Oh. Hey, wait a minute. He's the guy talking about the silent tax of inflation. He's the one that's telling you about the Federal Reserve. The only one, right? Lots of people woke up when they realized that the only guy talking about the Federal Reserve for the last 20 years, and that's the main thing. That's how this whole thing goes, right? Occupy Wall Street, all those people with all their various issues. The main issue that you know underlies all the issues they were talking about, you know, wars, drug war, and so forth, it's all funded because of our Federal Reserve and, and that currency system. And the fact that a private corporation issues our currency at, at interest, right? Loans it to us at interest has finally come to the fore. And people are seeing, hey, wait a minute, we pay too much money on the interest. And then we have to borrow the money to, you know, pay for the interest. And that causes even more inflation. The dollar becomes worth less and less. Right? Federal Reserve note in 1913 was worth a dollar. Now it's only worth 4.6 or 2 cents or maybe even 1 cents. You know, 1 cent. It's all that's left. Right? 
Okay, I use a nickel usually because people understand it. it's, a, it's worth a nickel, but if you start looking at the numbers, it's below a nickel, right? Just in the last two years, because the last thing I could find was for 2010. But Ron Paul, the only guy talking about this. Okay, and the unspoken thing is like Florida is so rigged, why even bother going down there, right? But if you guys in Florida would get down and watch the precincts and make more videos and show more, show more vids of the wild support Ron Paul has everywhere in this nation... And yet, you know, these other two guys who can't even get on the ballots in other states and have to cancel whistle stops uh, somehow are beating him, right? Like I said, the illusions are fading. Everybody's starting to see, starting to wake up in droves. Hey, starting to wake up. This is the most important part, right? And it's so not even close to over, right? It's so not. The fix is in. Well, I'll tell you what, there's a lot more of us than them, right? The fixers are outnumbered. So we need to go out there and just show our support for Ron Paul, and work 10 times harder, and watch every single precinct. All right, Ron Paul.